The Raspberry Pi has got lots of Linux OS's out of the box, but no FreeBSD ones. So here's my little attempt, a RoboBSD, ready out of the box, FreeBSD. You can find my videos and contact me on all these wonderful social media sites. Details are in the description box down below. Right then, here we are. I'm booting up on the RoboBSD version 0.1. Uh, it's a live USB FreeBSD based OS, like Nomad BSD, I suppose, and GhostBSD, but for the ARM64 or Raspberry Pi platform, there isn't really, at the current time, a uh, kind of like ready out of the box OS based on FreeBSD for the Raspberry Pi. There are some attempts to get. Ghost BSD up and going for it. Uh, I don't know how far they've come on with that. Quite far, I think. And that'd probably be a better fit than uh, what, what you're going to watch now. But this is my attempt. Um, it's limited in lots of ways, and hopefully I can sort some of the things out. But as you can see, it boots straight into a login manager. And so we just uh, zoom in there, <laughs> just put in the password. For root, it's root, and password is root, and for everyone else, it's guest, with password guest. Even I can remember that. So if you want to do any kind of admin things, you just uh, log in as guest, and if you want, then use root as your password to gain root access, etc. It's kind of, I for me, for my own self, I, I, I put it as simple as possible. So we're in. And immediately you can see a desktop coming up. It's XFCE. Uh, nicely themed, I think. I quite, quite like the background. And it comes with some applications. Uh, obviously, the, the base XFCE stuff, uh, as all XFCE has. But there's one or two extra things. Uh, so there's your settings. Uh, you've got... Uh, accessories and in that what I've added is the Cairo clock as you can see on the desktop you've got development tools you've got uh, image viewer you've got Midori and Silfeed which I've added in uh, multimedia you've got office you've got Abbey Word you've got numeric I don't want some of the science should be under office you got some system tools, and there's the about. I'm going to have a look at that. As you can see, it's uh, XFCE 4.18 on FreeBSD 14. Yeah, so the layout is fairly simple. You've got, uh, obviously, a menu at the top, and you've got a little menu bar at the bottom. Uh, I've added some tools. There's Midori. And I've used Midori because Firefox has a tendency on the ARM64... FreeBSD to crash a lot when you open new tabs. It can be mitigated slightly by disabling WebGL uh, and also using um, the, the long time life release version. Yeah, I butchered that bit, but you know what I mean, don't you? Uh, but Midori is a good fit. It's lightweight and uh, it, it's quite stable for me. And what else have we got? Oh, go down at the bottom one. I forgot which one I was using there. And we've got Silfeed, which has not been set up, so you can set it up yourself. It's a traditional mail client, if you prefer that way. I prefer that way rather than accessing mail via browser, but that's that's just me. And then, then we've got the terminal. We have a nice semi-transparent background. And we'll just look at the uname on this. And there you go. FreeBSD, RoboBSD, 14.0, release P3. Pat set 3. And there's a quick look at HTOP if you want. It's relatively lightweight. Oh, yeah, not too bad. And there's the file structure, the disk file structure. And I've included Abbey Word, which is a lightweight word processor. I did try the full office suite, but it, uh, it it really did blow the image size up. So, but this will do. This will get you going. And something which I, will, I hope that other uh, you know, like Ghost PSD, Nomad PSD would would include. 
I've configured cups for my printer, but it's easily changeable to one on your own network if you want. So obviously you you access cups via the uh, local host. Call on 600, I think it is. There's numeric if you want a uh, spreadsheet. I like numeric, it's a very good one. And there we've got where you can uh, show the desktop. You've got a file manager. You've got weather, which is uh, always handy. It's uh, very nice. You show the mounted devices. And this one at the end lets you add a new addition to that if you want to. You can... Uh, you can put whatever you want on this end one. If you if you put uh, another nice little widget or anything to show you the CPU usage, etc., and it's fairly straightforward to use. You just add the thing that you want from the menu that pulls down, or you can get rid of it altogether. You know, it's it's whatever. And there's a H top if you can't be bothered to type it in. Uh, yeah, there we go. So that's not too bad. Uh, we we'll remove that. So yeah, you got the basic set of tools there. I mean, you can install new applications and programs using the traditional method of PKG install and then let's say uh, Audacity. That will bring up there. Yeah, good. Uh, Amount of dependencies, not huge. So if you want that. There is, um, on the Raspberry Pi 400, as you know, there's probably, there's no sound um, connections. So if you add a USB sound uh, dongle, it should pick it up fine if you're using that. And Raspberry Pi 4, then there is a, an audio thing. But then again, I don't think there's a... I don't think there's a mic, so... Unless you use a combined one. And there's some backgrounds, only a couple of backgrounds, but tastefully done, I would, uh, I'd like to think. You can add your own if you wish. And then right clicking will bring up the usual uh, menu. Yeah, it's, um, it, it's not going to win OS or, or the, of the Year awards, no doubt. But for me, it's, it, it, it's, Scratches an itch, really, that the Raspberry Pi has got all these Linux-based OSs and some Windows ones now, where you just put it up and off you go. Not for the Raspberry Pi 5, that's a different beast, and uh, it really depends on whether or not the developers of FreeBSD manage to get one going. But for the Raspberry Pi 4, and possibly Raspberry Pi 3, then this will work uh, fine. I haven't tested it on Raspberry Pi 3. It probably won't work, but I know it definitely works on Raspberry Pi 4. So there's Audacity. It's looking for a uh, plugin which we can't find. Uh, yeah, let's close that for now. And there we are. There's Audacity. An invaluable tool for me is Audacity. I actually quite like it. And because I've got an audio dongle in the Raspberry Pi 400, it will record sound uh, close that so yeah um, I just really uh, I'm, I don't know this is only early doors for this I don't know whether or not this will lead anywhere I don't know whether or not anyone will actually use it I don't know whether um, I've got the skill set to do this I'm not a developer I'm just a, a passionate FreeBSD user but it's um, something that I think is is overdue really I, 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 out of the box free bsd os that you can just plug in and go there's no option to install to hard drive um there's not even an option for it to expand upon first use uh to fill your usb i don't have to look into that i don't know how you do that i have no idea but it's a 16 gigabyte OS, and that's crunched down into a, a, a roughly about 4 gigabyte, maybe a little bit more, uh, USB image that you burn to a USB stick, and it'll uh, 
let you do things. Like uh, mount your devices automatically, which it's doing here. Here's a couple of USB sticks of uh, uh, FreeBSD. And I think, if I can remember, the other one is an SD card with Risk OS on it. Risk OS being uh, one of the original OSs for the ARM chipset from Acorn. It mounts it all right. So it's already out of the box. Printer's configured. Desktop, automatically booting in. Blah, 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 blah. Let me know what you think. Uh, do you think this is something that's got legs? Or do you think it should be, you know, get rid of now? Um, I'll work on it whenever I can. So the probably next version will be 0 0.2, etc. Uh, little incremental uh, bits added to it. And also looking in the fundamental way how you can expand the image to fill uh, an available USB stick. Um, that's the tricky one I'm going to have to look into. But yeah, it's a little bit something that I uh, threw together over Christmas. And uh, let me know what you think. Is RoboBSD uh, a winner? Nay or yeah? Anyway, I'll leave a link to uh, the download. It's from the Google Drive. It's a link to the file. Give it a whirl. Give it a whirl. Give it a whirl. Let me know what you think. And uh, post your comments down below, please. Thank you.